So what you're looking at is a 1915 Model T Speedster. Speedsters were built back in the teens and 20s just out of surplus extra parts, used parts from junkyards. This is a 1915 replica. It actually is built on a 1917 chassis. It does not have an electric starter. It does hand crank, as you'll see in one of the videos of me cranking it. It has the original brass radiator from Ford with a motor meter, polished aluminum hood. It has wooden wheels. These are all wood fellow and wooden spokes painted red. The chassis has been completely restored to a point of all new king pins, bushings, tie rod ends, grease oilers, everything like that. And if you come around here, basically this is the coil box and that is the switch. It has an accessory tilt on the column that they put in speedsters to bring the steering column down lower. This car does not have a magneto. I took off the magnets and the magneto parts and replaced it with oil slingers and it runs just off the coils only, which is runs very well. It has an aluminum seats. This is a speedster gas tank, the toolbox. It has an accessory stoplight with the Illinois 15 plate. It has some accessory axle straps that you could have got at that time. And if we walk around this side, basically you're going to say, see the same thing on the car. Up front here from the front axle, you'll notice there is a bar underneath also. This was an accessory for support for racing. And it also has a holder that holds the engine pan underneath. I'll open up the hood here so everybody can see the hood underneath. This is the engine. Oh, everything has been completely restored, rewired. No issues whatsoever. And I will walk around to the other side. And this is the other side. It, it has its Ford accessory oil can with a accessory water pump. And it's a very nice running car, probably runs around 35 to 40 miles an hour. It has a low compression head and has three to one gears in the rear end for a higher speed.